if you're starting out creating a course or i don't know maybe you're looking to move everything under one roof which of course makes perfect sense and you're looking at the various platforms it can get a little confusing when it comes to working out which is not only the the best platform but which is the best price plan the plan that's gonna suit you platform wise i love kajabi it's got everything i need and because of how it's built as your business grows it's then really easy to customize it pretty much any way you like to to make it fit your business which is really important you don't want to have to keep going switching platforms so okay but which is the best price plan if you're just starting out well kajabi's got three of them by the end of this lesson you'll know but i'm also going to show you something that's going to allow you to not only sign up for a free extended trial but how you can get kajabi free forever permanently and not a lot of people know this but first let's go over the basic plans in fact before i go giving you the lowdown i've got a link below that gives you not the normal 14 day trial but if you use my link you can get a 30 day free trial and like i said i'm also going to show you how you can make it so you don't pay for kajabi ever anyway looking at the plans which features matter and which are just going to cost you money looking at these plans there's lots of options well two things first right off the bat if you're starting out you're going to likely want to pay monthly you don't want to be laying out a big chunk of change right at the start so let's switch to monthly pricing second unless you've already got a an established business you're not going to want to go for the pro plan that's the kind of plan that you work up to it's not where you start so we can cross that one off the list to start with that leaves us with the growth and the basic plan so let's compare the features and i'll explain what matters and what you should be paying attention to and like i said i'm going to show you how to get it for free anyway but we'll cover the features first first products and what do i mean by products well products means how many courses you currently have or if you're just starting out how many courses you're going to be creating from the off from day one to start with you're likely only going to have one course and if you've got multiple courses already say you're migrating them over to kajabi maybe you should be considering a reoccurring subscription model in kajabi just something to consider but if like most people you've got just one or maybe two courses then the basic plan is fine you can actually have up to three courses with the basic and when you've got more you can just upgrade only takes like a couple of minutes simple next pipelines and this is where it gets interesting on the growth plan you can have up to 15 the basic it only gives you three now for those of you who are unsure exactly what a pipeline is let me explain a pipeline it's just a series of events let's say you've got a webinar classic example a webinar if you selected the webinar pipeline in kajabi it would build the registration page for you the the email sequence for you the event itself you know the page for the webinar everything in the basic plan you can have three of these pre-built pipelines now there are pre-built pipelines on all kinds of things like product launches webinars sales pages all kinds of stuff on the growth plan you can have 15 so you may be thinking that you don't want to be limiting yourself to just three and that you're going to have to get the growth plan well no you see here's the thing pipelines they're nothing more than just a series of events i never use the pre-built pipelines i can just create them myself and i can have as many as i like i mean there's nothing wrong with maybe taking a look at a pre-built one and then just adding the events yourself in fact i think it's quicker with a pre-built one you've got to edit it change it and then by the time you've got it to how you like it you could have just built the thing yourself quicker it's really easy in fact if you subscribe to this channel this is the kind of stuff that i teach you so hit the subscribe button and if you're getting value from this lesson give it a thumbs up so as i was saying if you're starting out pipelines they're not a limited factor at all because they're so easy to make yourself moving down the list both plans give you unlimited landing pages and unlimited marketing emails which is good then here under contacts we've got a difference the basic plan gives us 10,000 the growth 25,000 now basically this is the number of active contacts in your email list and i say active because it doesn't matter which platform you use you should be cleaning your list regularly people who don't open or don't interact with your emails you need to remove them it actually hurts your open rate gmail for example they measure this and that's why i use the word active if you've got 25,000 active users and you've got a good open rate and people are buying heck 
the extra for the growth plan could have be small change. But more likely, if you're just getting started, 10,000 contacts, that's going to be more than enough. Underneath that is active members. In other words, customers. The basic plan gives us 1,000. The growth, 10,000. So start with the basic. I mean, even if your course is like only, say, 200 bucks, when you've hit 1,000, that's like, that's like 200 grand in the bank. 200 grand you've made. Then you can upgrade if you need to. Both plans give you a single website. And that's fine. Most people only have the one website anyway. Now, next, we've got admin users. Now, if there's only you running the shop, that's going to be fine. One's going to be enough. But let's say you've got a virtual assistant or a member of staff who help you. Then you may need the extra admin users. And for that, you're going to need the growth plan. Now, in case you think I've forgotten that I said I'm going to tell you to get Kajabi for free, I've not. I'm coming to that. I just want to run over these last couple of features here, mainly the automations, which is offered by the basic plan against the advanced automations in the growth plan. Now, automations are actually really powerful. And a basic automation, it works like this. When a customer does this, then do that. Let me give you an example. A basic automation could be, say, when somebody signs up for my list, then include them in this email sequence. Or if somebody downloads a lead magnet, then send them this email sequence or add this tag to them so you can then put them in a segmented list. That's a basic automation. Advanced automations, they take it one step further. You can add a filter, a set of conditions, if you like. For example, an advanced automation could be when somebody registers on this page, then add them to this email sequence unless they've already bought this product. Advanced automations, it takes your ability to filter and carry out actions to a far deeper level. Then we've got remove Kajabi branding, which basically just means removing the little Kajabi logo from the bottom of the page. Not really a deal breaker. No, we get to the good part, and this is the affiliate program. And here's why I think the Kajabi growth plan is actually the best value for money. When you sign up for the Kajabi affiliate program and you become a partner, Kajabi, they'll look after you. They'll pay you 30% commission on all sales you refer for as long as that person stays subscribed. When someone asks you, what's that platform you use to run your business? And then you pass them a link. When they sign up, you get almost 50 bucks a month. And that's if they only go for the basic plan. I'd only had Kajabi for like a month and I'd referred four people. So right from day one, by going for the growth plan, I was already getting like 200 bucks in commission. And by the end of like month two, I had seven people in total, making over 350 bucks a month. I've never actually paid a cent of my own money to have Kajabi. In fact, I make a profit from it. On top of that, it's a great platform and it's really easy to use. Anyway, I hope this lesson has helped you decide which Kajabi plan is going to be right for you. So until next time, bye for now.